Ah, boy. Whew. Turn that down a little bit. Turn on the other lights. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. This literally does not work. I don't know what the seafoam green is doing to me, but it looks like I got a red face. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, let me, yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, what a day, what a day, what a day. To yesterday be part of the Hall of Fame Zoom press conference and talk to Harold Carmichael and Cliff Harris was incredible. Today, to be part of, I mean, Paul Tagliabue, um, um, Art Shell, Steve Hutchinson, and to finish it off with Jimmy Johnson, um, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. I'm blessed. I'm thankful. I'm glad I didn't shit myself. I appreciate everybody who joined my live stream and uh, uh, the premiere of it and things. And I want to thank everybody who has helped me. And that's everybody. That's people. If you've come in here and watched the video, if you've come in here and given me a thumbs up, hell, if you even come in here and give me a thumbs down, if you've done a super chat, if you become a channel member, every single action that you guys have done, sorry, little snail, has helped me get to this point and is helping me to get even further. I got to say thank you. I always say you can learn something from anybody if your mind is open. Everybody can teach you. And the day you stop learning is the day you die. And there's the truth in that. The thing that's amazing is you listen to Cliff Harris talking about how he played and the, the angles and the trajectory and stuff. And you think about uh, if you've been a fan of mine and watching the games last year, it literally drove me crazy watching guys pursuit angles. You know, what you have to do is it's not, it's kind of like a shotgun. If you got the clay pigeon over here, you're not aiming over here where the clay pigeon is. You're aiming for the cutoff point where it's going to be by the time it gets there. That's the same thing with football. Cliff Harris articulated, in my mind, I could see the mesh point i can you know calculate the the soft spot and the place to hit him and get my head across the body he literally thought through the play and made a reality we ain't got that or at least we didn't last year hopefully dan quinn can instill that but maybe this is a different era and, and it'll never come back but when you listen to jimmy johnson it, 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 you know, I was there, but I wasn't really there. When we were there, this, this is what happens to me, and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I just came downstairs. I got the matches from over there. I come through here like this. I turn on the camera. I sit down. Until I got right here, I had no idea. I do not know what I'm going to say for the rest of this video. It's just me sitting here and having a conversation, flat out. But when I sit down, and people will get on me because I do the same thing, my same spiel, I sit down and it's like a switch goes on, and you're just on cru cruise control, and the stuff just comes out my mouth. You know, I had somebody who, who's told me that, you know, you should be doing working for ESPN or you should be, you know, on something or you should be doing this. And it's like, I can't do that. I can't read a script. I can't read a teleprompter and have it feel like it's natural because the only way I can do it is for it to be natural. 
So when we did the interview with Jimmy Johnson, I knew what I was going to ask him. I didn't know exactly how I was going to ask him. I knew what the question was, and I just said it. And I got through my part. I didn't shit myself. I didn't throw up all over myself. And I was relaxed. And I was listening, but I wasn't really absorbing everything. So tonight I did it as a premiere, and I'll do the same thing tomorrow. God willing, I'll get a question with Drew Pearson. I um, really listened to it while I was doing it as a premiere. I'm commenting to everybody who's watching at the same time as I am, and I'm listening to Jimmy Johnson. And I miss some of the things that I heard when I did it at 3 o'clock. And one of the things that just stood out to me was Jimmy Johnson talking about late in the season, they had already clinched a playoff spot already clinched the playoff spot and they played Washington and they lost and on the plane back home the flight attendants are preparing meals for the guys Jimmy Johnson basically said you're not feeding them let me stop right there again you're not feeding them I want them to have a sick feeling in their stomach I don't want them to accept losing. I don't want to bust on Jason Garrett. But Jason Garrett, I used to always describe as a little league coach. As a little league coach, you are trying to build up the confidence of kids. Everybody gets a participation trophy. Don't worry about it, Johnny. We'll get them next time, man. Hey, good job, good job. We know you didn't catch the ball. It's okay. It's a See, that, my friends, is the difference. Take your asthmatic ass over on the field because I'm cutting you. Football is not like any other sport. It is a battle short of death. It is a war. And is not going to get you there. And I think, and, and like I said, I'm older, and it's it's the, the fantasy football mentality that drives me crazy because it, it's no longer my team and my guys. When I hear players say, you know, I'm here to help this team, they don't take ownership of it. My man DeMario Davis said it. I'm an independent contractor. I get a 1099 at the end of the year. And that's where your loyalty has to be. The teams aren't loyal to the players. But knowing that it used to be war, that Dallas Cowboys, that Randy White was going to be a Cowboy. He wasn't going to be going to the Giants next year or the Washington football team. And herein lies the problem. There's not any passion. There's not any emotion there's no responsibility for losing. Jim said, Jim, Jim Johnson said it. If you lose, you're going to suffer. That you'll do anything to win so you don't have that feeling. You win, you do whatever you want. That's a winning culture. And as I see people in the, in the midst of of getting their ass handed to them that there's losing and you know there's no chance in hell that you're going to win somehow out there celebrating I hate to lose 
It eats at me. And to quote my hated rivals, George Allen, when you lose, a little part inside of you dies. Nothing important, you know, like a, a liver or a heart, you know, maybe an appendix or something. But a little piece of you dies when you lose. And maybe that's what these cowboys need. Because I'll be honest with you. I didn't see any sense of urgency. I didn't see any sense of passion. I didn't see any fear of, oh shit, if we lose, it's going to be hell in practice. And maybe that won't work today. I don't know. But I know one thing. I want a bunch of dogs that are hungry, that are fearful of keeping a job. And I want to say Jerry Jones and crew have maybe set it up a little closer to that being a reality with so many guys on one year deals that there's a sense of urgency of, I don't know if I'm going to get a job. I'm not a superstar that's made a ton of money. I got to make sure I make this team. You know, the most dangerous person in the world is a man with nothing to lose. Look for next week, a week from tomorrow, when training camp starts. Look for a lot of intensity this year in training camp going to be a lot of guys that are looking to make a name for themselves. Whew. Appreciate everybody doing everything that you're doing to help us grow. Shout out to all of you that have uh, subscribed to the other channel, Joe Boo Sports Report. Um, I've got a video that's actually doing really, really well because the price of lumber has begun to start dropping. And Lowe's dropped their two by fours last week. Home Depot dropped, oh, excuse me. Home Depot dropped their, their two-by-fours and things last week. This week, Lowe's dropped just slightly below Home Depot, but Home Depot had the jump on them, and they dropped the price even more. So we're in the midst of beginning a price war, and I've comparatively shopped that. And because so many people are interested in lumber and, and getting their projects started, they're watching it, which is helping it get its watch minutes and things. So I appreciate everybody who's been over there on Joe Boo's Day Job Homes. And hopefully, God willing, I will wake up tomorrow morning and be able to be part of the call with Drew Pearson. And I will do like I did tonight. I will do a pre-stream, live stream, and then we'll post the and premiere the video. Wow. Almost don't want this day to end. But it's time to turn out those lights. This part is over. Peace out, y'all.